Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create a switchboard form, all you are doing is changing the form's function or purpose within the database. Instead of allowing users to perform data entry, switchboard forms allow users to click buttons or make choices within option groups that then launch macros, which grant access to other forms and reports, or automate other database tasks. Switchboard forms are used to control the flow of the database application's screens. Now starting in Access 2010, this kind of functionality has been incorporated into the new navigation form types, which allow you to create switchboard forms and add buttons for navigation more easily than before. While you can still create a switchboard form using this method in Access 2010 and later, you may find that using the navigation form type is simply faster and easier. To create a switchboard form, you can click the blank form button that appears in the Forms button group on the Create tab within the ribbon. Do not associate any data source with this form. If needed, you can switch to the form's design view. Next, in the form design view, click the form selector in the upper left corner of the form. It's the small gray button that's located at the intersection of the horizontal and vertical rulers. This will place a small black square into that box. That means that you have the whole form selected versus selecting a specific section within the form. Next, ensure that you can see the property sheet. If not, you can click the property sheet button that appears in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools contextual tab within the ribbon. In the Property sheet, you are now going to change some default settings to get rid of some of the aspects of the form which you commonly associate with data entry. This will clear the way for you to then add images, command buttons, or other types of navigational controls into the form. To start, click the Format tab. In this tab, click into the default view property and set the property to single form from the drop down menu that appears. Next, click into the allow form view property and select yes from the drop down menu available. Then you will set the allow datasheet view, allow pivot table view, allow pivot chart view, and allow layout view properties to no. This will prevent the user from changing the view of your switchboard form. Next, click into the Record Selectors property and set that to No. Click into the Navigation Buttons property and set that to No. This will remove the distracting record navigation features which you would not use in a switchboard form as you do not perform data entry in these types of forms. Once you've made these basic changes, plus any additional ones that you would like, save the changes to the form. Then you can begin adding your desired navigational controls, command buttons, and on-screen instructions to the switchboard form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.